Hi, nice to see you again. This is TDS sharing you more E3D experience. We have finished create a bunch of T's and we want to connect them up to make sure the connection width and position of the P3 of the T is correct. Let me check how many T's there are in the branch. Instead of querying M count, we query M count T. This will give us the number of T's in the brand. 36. That is quite a lot. So I am going to look at the commands that I can use to create the branch. Let's store some of the variable that we need. Let's store the specification. The attribute is pspec. We store it in the pspec variable as a local variable. One exclamation will do. We store the name of the current branch as prefix as this will be prefix for the branches that we will be creating. We will need a counter variable for the branches we are creating and the T that the branch is to be connected to. We initialize the counter to 1. We are ready to create our branches. Let's widen the command line so that you can see each command in one line. The first command we use is the new command. It is new followed by the type of element we are creating. New branch will create the branch element with the default attribute. We are going to give the branch two attribute, name and spec. We use OO method to set the name using the prefix and the number variable that we have stored. Note that we change the real number to a string with the string method. You can see that the branch is named. We will set the pspec attribute with the variable pspec that we have saved. The branch has head and tail information. The head information contains the starting width, connection, and position of the start of the branch. We use connect to get the information from the T that the branch is to be connected to. PH means the pipe head, don't as me why not BH. We connect to the first T of the main branch that we store as prefix. We use the number and prefix variable to do that. You can see the dotted line that represents the branch is at the P3 of the T. We will create an F tube or cable ladder. We use new F tube to do that. Next we need to select the component to use. We can use the default choice of the F tube component or we know the fixed length cable ladder has a S type FL. We make use of the value of the S type. To do that we use select with. The component is created but it is not positioned. We use the connect command. We will need to align the opening of the cable ladder to up. The command is connect and P30 is up. We see that the cable ladder is positioned and aligned. End to navigate to the branch. Then we connect the tail of the branch to the end of the cable ladder. The command is connect PT to last member. First branch is modeled. We need to do for the rest of the 35 T's. Let's mark the start of the commands with comment. We will now increment the counter. We add 1 to the variable number. After that is just running commands that we ran before. The next branch is created. We can continue this method to create all the branches. Now we are going to write our first PML. We will put the commands in a loop to create all the branches. We use a text editor to create the script. I've copied the commands that I used for the main part of the script. I am going to initialize the variables that I have done before. It is always good to store the current element that the script starts. Then we initialize the variables. 
The prefix. The number of T's in the branch. This time I use M count. T. Which is not too object oriented. Lastly, the spec. It is always good to comment your code. You might forget what you are doing even you are the only person maintaining the code. So make it a habit to comment. I am trying to make sense what I am writing. No point commenting if you do not know what you are writing. We use a do loop. There are various variation of the do loop. I am just going to loop from 1 to the number of t's. The variable i will be increment in each loop. Instead of incrementing the number variable, we just assign the variable to i. Of course we can use i directly. Now we just need to use end do to define the end of the loop. Let's save the script and check how it works. We use the $m to run the script. We can also drag the file into the command line. I have copied the script file path and here it goes. There you have it. And we can check the connection between the T and branches. Hope you enjoy this video and there you have it. You have written your first automation script in E3D. See you again soon.